This screencast is going to be about the free diagramming tool called DIA. But before we get started, I want to invite you that uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and click the full screen option, which will make it a little bit easier to see what I'm doing in the screencast, although it might be a little bit fuzzy. So let's take a look. The first thing we'll probably want to do is see the DIA homepage, which is live.gnome.org slash DIA. However, if you Google for DIA, you uh, may come up with this page, which is the old DIA homepage. Simply click here to go to the new DIA homepage. And once you do that, we'll have some options right around the middle here. Uh, for different things that we can do on the home page including reading more about DIA but we probably just want to download it which is here and we have on the download page different versions of DIA for uh, Linux and other operating systems but uh, we probably want to look at the Windows version most people use Windows so there's DIA for Windows and we'll click on that and we'll see that right here we can download DIA for Windows. So once you've downloaded and installed DIA for Windows, you'll find that DIA is a program that looks like this. Now the first uh, little trick about DIA is that uh, you may think that this diagram workspace here is the main window and in fact it is not. So if you end up with closing the main window you still have the toolbar window which is this and this is actually the main window so if you don't have a diagram window you can just use the file menu here to click file and new and open up a new diagram window now the reason I'm doing this screencast is that a friend of mine uh, had mentioned to me that he was having trouble doing diagrams on this computer and he somehow managed to figure out how to use Word to uh, make diagrams and uh, I've also seen people use Microsoft PowerPoint uh, and even Microsoft Excel uh, to fudge a way to make diagrams uh, and DIA is certainly going to make this easier for us and, and definitely less expensive than Microsoft Visio. So the first thing you'll want to do with DIA once you have a new diagram open is decide what type of diagram that you're going to make. Right in this toolbox here, uh, if we drop down this list and uh, choose other sheets from the menu, we have uh, several different types of diagrams that we can do. Circuit diagrams, networking diagrams, electronics diagrams, flow charts, logic diagrams, and so forth and you can even go on the internet and look for more different types of shapes uh, and diagrams to download and uh, they'll plug right into DIA. For right now I'm going to use what they call the assorted uh, shapes which is just basic geometric shapes such as squares and circles and triangles and uh, let's go ahead and get started by adding some shapes to our diagram. I uh, will start by adding a square and you'll notice with these little green boxes that are around my shape that I can resize my shape uh, to any size that I want and uh, I'll add a couple more shapes here a circle and a triangle and let's add uh, how, about a, how about a cross make that a little bit bigger and once you have some shapes, uh, you'll want to connect them together in some logical format that uh, is, makes sense for what it is you're trying to describe with your diagram. The uh, most basic connector we have, the connectors are right here on our tools window. This is the basic line, and if I just draw the line from the box to the circle, they're connected and if I move either shape around the connector follows the shape uh, so that I don't have to redraw the line or move the line just because I've moved my shape 
if I double click on the line, I get some properties for the shape uh, to include different types of arrows that I could use. Uh, maybe I don't want an arrow at all, or maybe I want some more types of arrows uh, to connect my shapes together. So we can make all kinds of different changes about the line, uh, even the line style. We can use dashes and we can change the line width if we wish. Let's look at some different types of connectors. Uh, the next type of connector you may be interested in is uh, what's called the zigzag connector and this is the connector you'll be familiar with if you use Visio because it's the default for Visio and it uses always 90 degree angles uh, but it always stays uh, connected just like the line to whatever shapes it you told it to be connected to and there are different types of uh, curved connectors here let's just select the arc for example and we'll connect that to our cross and we'll see that it always does some uh, sort of curve there uh, to connect it. Another thing that you may want in your diagram is some text to describe what you're doing so let's click on the text button in the toolbar here so then just click where you want to put the text and type it that you want this is a triangle for example and if you double click the text you get some options uh, that you can do let's change the font of the text to uh, a different font how about Calibri and we'll change the size of the text make it larger OK and there we have changed the properties of our text and that's the very basics of DIA. I'm not going to get into advanced diagramming in this screencast but uh, as you can already see it should be easier to use to make flow charts or other types of diagrams uh, than trying to figure out a way to make your diagram in some other program that wasn't really meant for using diagrams. And DIA is an open source free program. You can download and use it for free and there's absolutely no cost to doing it uh, it's not spyware and it's not adware uh, it's, it's just out there and free for you so go ahead and download it and give it a try if uh, diagramming is something that you're interested in doing on the computer